and here now do we see as i was talking about that l shape the way the l is you see the black tab a little bit go over onto the bracket but it's not really that it goes over on top of it it's more so that the screw that that screw hole will slide more so under that bracket and that's how you know that it's in there and it's that same way of taking it out as you would take out that screw and then pull forward on the front part to take that tail out of that slot in the back right so here I just sped it up with the last three dampers did you see I'm still doing my test wiggle it in go down in the back and here now I think you'll be able to see what I mean I pull that forward and then I push it back down that was a really good example I had a little bit of trouble just with these screws, just a little bit, but not much. Just make sure you line them up. They do, but they weren't as magnetic. They weren't really magnetic, so I couldn't just hope that they would hang on to my screwdriver or my drill. I just had to line them up. That's why you see me doing a little bit of with the small screwdriver and hand first, lining it up once it gets in. Then I use my drill to fully screw it in there. But again, bracket, do my little test to make sure that it's in fully and it wasn't so I'm pushing it back in and it could. So right back down at an angle. Now watch the way I pull that screw thing forward and push it under that tab, that black tab. That's how we see how to put them in, okay? I have one more to go and then I'll come back to you.